right, you men. We are here in a French port. Right. <laughs> we are here for one reason, and one reason alone. And it's not for the reason that you're thinking. I have been ordered to attend a top-level staff meeting. Because I know the Navy, and I know how the Navy operates. <laughs> I also know how you pirates operate. So you can find the boat. Come, come find the boat? You, you, you can't do that, Captain. My, my men deserve a liberty. Oh, knock it off, McHale. The only reason I came on this garbage scow is because it was the only boat available. <laughs> now, I repeat, they are confined to the boat. I will be back in six hours, exactly 1,400. In the meantime, you can occupy yourself scrubbing that tub. And that's an order. Yes, sir. What a dirty deal. No good thing you can't do this to us. After 14 months of fighting with the Japanese, you think they give us a couple hours off to wrestle with the French? <laughs> oh, God, I already had my new target for the night lined up, my pen pal Fifi. What a bum break. So maybe. Hey, Skip, where do you go to resign? All right, all right, belay it, will you? Yeah, the Skipper's right. You can't disobey a direct order. That's correct. When an officer of the Navy gives you an order, you don't question it, you obey it. Now, Binghamton gave me an order. And now I'm going to give you swabs one. Commencing right now. You've got three hours liberty. Now get out of here and stay out of trouble. Skip, you can't do that. <laughs> you did it. Is waiting. The letter waits. You gotta have a drink with your buddies. Ah, let him go. Any trader to rather be with girls can leave. <laughs> well, hello there. People are friends. Boulay, boo, American cigarette. <laughs> Fifi, here I come. Hey, come on back, you guys. Let him go, Christy, baby. I'll dig us up a couple of girls. Yeah. Four queens? Girls. <laughs> you guys, you have a deck of cows. Uh, perhaps we could while away a few hours with a uh, game of chance, eh? Bonjour, bonjour. Pourquoi not? How about a few hands of uh, poker? Poker, my boy, the good one, what is that? You have never played uh, poker? No. Avez-vous la seat? Oh, you love it, you love it. Now. Hey, Chuck, we got three hours until the boys get back. Uh, what do you feel like doing? Oh, I don't know, Skip. What do you feel like doing? Well, I don't know. But you name it, and I'll do it. So, uh, what do you feel like doing? Well, I don't know. What do you feel like doing? I don't know. What do you feel like doing? I don't know. Well, one of us has got to think of something. Yeah. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we give each other haircuts? <laughs> oh, no, I've had enough of this. I, look, I'm going to go short. I, I'm worried about the boys and, well, a little chicken won't hurt. I'll see you. Okay, Skip. You go ahead. I'll stay here. <laughs> well, I've got uh, three queens. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> Not good enough. Full house. A full maison? <laughs> Is that a bit too better? I'm afraid so, mon ami. Two pair of aces. <laughs> Two pair of aces? <laughs> Don't tell me. <laughs> I have one. <laughs> this must be how you say beginner's luck. Huh? <laughs> Sacre bleu. Ah, uh, Frenchy, you old buzzard, you're still dealing from the bottom of the deck, huh? Oh, <laughs> 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 with all 
I'd kiss him, will you? Hey, Skip, you notice know loving crook? Yeah, yeah, big French and I are old friends. Hey, best. I give the shirt off my back to my friend and my purse. Sure, sure, because it's usually my shirt. <laughs> will you? This is character and I shipped out together before the war. <laughs> but I gotta admit, though, we really shook up the seven seas. <laughs> Well, the way he deals, I'm lucky there's still seven. Kids, <laughs> these are you boys. Yeah, that is part of my PT boat crew. <laughs> PT. Uh -huh. oh, I am so sorry, gentlemen. All bets are off. I did not know you were friends of McHale. I only take money from strangers. Oh. McHale, come and see me. Oh, all right, okay, all right, I ask all the questions that race around my brain. <laughs> Mon ami. This PT boat, you have it here with you on the island? Yes, yeah, tied up the... Yeah. And get that look out of your eyes. Uh, the last time you looked at me like that, my watch ended up hanging in a hawk shop in Singapore. Uh, is there any way to talk about a man who saved your life when you fell overboard in the Zamboanga? I didn't fall. I was pushed. The important thing is that you were saved. <laughs> now you can pay that favor. And all I want for you to do is lend me your pity boat. Lend me? <laughs> Come on, will you, Frenchy? There is a shipment of copra worth $2,000 just waiting to be picked up on the island of Sukara. What about your boat? Unfortunately, the police have it. It's a minor infringement of shipping regulations. Sure, like uh, a rum running, smuggling piracy on the high seas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, McCann, you always make with the joke. Huh? But forget about my boat. What about yours? Yeah, well, you can forget about my boat, too. Say, haven't you heard? There's a war on, remember? Boom, boom. Yes, yes, I, I remember. I read something about it. <laughs> All right, forget about the boats. <laughs> Let's have a drink together for all time's sake. Huh? Now you're talking, pal. <laughs> uh, it looks as though I lose the argument, eh? <laughs> but as you Americans say, it is not if you win or lose, but how you play the game. <laughs> before you lock us up. You're absolutely right. My apology to you. What is the name of your commanding officer? How about... Uh, uh, oh, f f forget it. That's all we need. Old lead bottom finding out we're in the clink. We're dead. D-E-D-D-D, -E -D -D -D, dead. Oh, quiet, you eight balls. And let me think, will you? I'll try to figure a way to get us out of here before Binghamton gets back. Parker, will you shut up and listen to what I'm saying? Oh, well, yes, sir. Uh, I heard everything you had to say. What, what, what were you saying? I said, are you and Mikhail keeping that gang of pirates on the ball? Are they scrubbing the boat? Oh, well, we, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're bu busy as bees here. Yes, sir. We were just uh, uh, working our heads off. Yes. All right, tote those crates. Lift those bales. What crates? What bales? Huh? Uh, all right, man. Now let's get to work. <clears throat> uh, 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 Willie, more water there. Yes, Mr. Parker. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, Tinker, swing that mop. Yes, Mr. Parker. <laughs> Tinker, you hear me? Uh, okay, Grover. Come on, more rags. Parker, have you been drinking? 
I, I've been inhaling some GI soap, sir, but it's pretty strong, you know. Now, look, you numbskull, I've got to get back to that meeting. We're going to wind up ahead of schedule. So I want you to tell Mikhail that he's to have that Bill's bar shining in one hour because we're going to sail then, and that's all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, Roger, over now. Uh, sorry, sir. Sorry. <laughs> Walk, don't run. <laughs> now, let's see. If I were Commander McHale, and I were in a French port, where would I go? Get to the... Uh... No, I can never face Mother. <laughs> uh, uh, pardon, uh, this is Commander McHale's pity boat, no? Uh, huh? Oh, yes. Yeah. And you are the only one here, yes? Uh, no. I mean, yes. <laughs> well, your Commander McHale, he has just be arrested. Oh, no. Oh, yes. I am his friend, big Frenchy. I try to help, but nobody pays attention to a man like me. <laughs> but you... The minute I look at you, I can see you are a man of action, yes? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Well, yes, no one. It is the eyes. And the bull neck in those powerful shoulders. You remind me very much of that American film star. How you call him? Uh, John Wayne. John? John Wayne? Well, look, partner. This is no time for talk. This is time for action. Oh, I forgot. I can't leave the boat. Oh, you go right ahead. There's a friend of Commander McHale. I will watch the boat for you. The police station is right that way. Well, I don't know. That's against regulations. Did you ever see John Wayne worry about regulations when a friend was in trouble? Watch the boat. Pull around with me, will you? I demand the release of Commander McHale of the United States Navy. And who are you? I'm Ensign Wayne. I mean, uh, John Parker. Chuck Parker. My name is Chuck. Hey, Chuck! Oh, hi, Skip. Don't worry, I'll have you out of here in no time. Now look, Moan Chief, I'm sure that we can straighten this whole thing out. I mean, after all, we're great friends of Marie Chevalier. So now look, if you'll just let Commander McHale go... Let him go! Commander McHale is being held for disorderly conduct, disturbing the peace, destroying private property, and hitting a Frenchman. He hit a Frenchman? You hit a Frenchman? Well, well now, look. Uh, after all, if he did all those things, I'm sure he's sorry. Now, look, I'm sure we can make it up to you boys somehow. Look. Are you, you trying to bribe an officer of the law? Bribe an officer? Oh, oh, no, no, I, I was just going to look at the time. You see, we have to be out of port in less than an hour, so. Arrest this man! Throw him in with the others! <laughs> you can't arrest John Wayne. See, my... I can arrest so I want I'm the boss of this Bastille! Hey, Skip, we got to get out of here. Captain Binghamton called. Binghamton? Yeah, he's leaving ahead of schedule. As a matter of fact, in exactly 49 minutes. Holy oh, oh, my... All right, all right, don't panic. Yeah, well, what's he going to say when he comes back and finds that we're not there? Oh, boy. It's a good thing I got Big Frenchy watching the boat. Yeah. Now, listen, you... Big who watching what? Oh, your friend, Big Frenchy. He volunteered to watch the boat while I was out helping you. Oh, no. <laughs> now you can panic. You guys got a whole virgin. Maybe he can raise the dough. Hey, hey, you guys know Peepy's number? Save your nickel, Skip. They're putting Virgil through now, person to person. Virgil! <laughs> What happened to you? I was picked up for speeding, Skip. Speeding? Where'd you get the car? Oh, I didn't have a car. I was running from, from her. Let me in there. Oh, you make big promises in the letter, Virgil. But the promises are all lies. Lies? Talk about lying. What about that phony picture you sent me, Fifi? <laughs> huh? That's Fifi? Papa, he doesn't want to marry me. Papa? <laughs> He's her papa. <laughs> don't cry, my petit, don't cry. Jeune homme, throw him in with the others. 
Look him up. Uh, no, wait, no, 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 just, just a minute, Chief. I, I think there's been a slight misunderstanding. Yes, uh, you see, uh, uh, this young man wasn't running away from your charming daughter. No, he, he was running uh, into town uh, for a tuxedo, for the wedding. Yes, he's very much in love with your Fifi. Yes. <laughs> Yes, sir. and if you let us out, yeah, we would like to arrange a military wedding complete with 21 gun salute. <laughs> Isn't that right, little boy? <laughs> yeah, so, great. Yes, and so that's all settled. Now you two lovebirds get together, huh? Oh, there's you! There's you! Oh. <laughs> and, and now, Papa, if you let us out, we would like to go arrange for the ceremony. You're done! Let out these troublemakers from this place. Bon appétit. <laughs> I knew it, the boat's gone, that backstabbing barnacle scraper. Boy, is he in trouble? Is he in trouble? Well, sure, Skip. According to paragraph 11, section 15 in Navy Manual, why a civilian can't operate a Navy vessel, especially during time of war. Oh, he's off, will you, Chuck? If that boat isn't back here by the time Binghamton arrives, we'll all be civilians in Alcatraz. Uh, well, I wonder what John Wayne would do at a time like this. He usually jumps on a horse. Oh, now, will you guys be quiet? For heaven's sakes, I'm trying to think. Now, let's see. By this time, French, you ought to be halfway to Saqqara. And unless we can get started... Bingo! There's our solution, boys. Come on. Frenchy swiped our boat, so we'll just swipe his. Hey, yeah. We'll paint a 73 on it, and Binghamton will never know the difference. <laughs> Won't work. <laughs> we gotta take off after Frenchy and the 73. And that's how we're going. But first of all, fellas, we gotta take care of those gendarmes. Commander McHale of the United States Navy. I have just received word of Japanese action at Sakara. I'm commandeering this boat. Government orders. Monsieur Commandeur, we have our orders too. Step aside, Buster. This is the United States Navy. And, uh, United States Navy. Just make contact with McCarth in the Pacific, sir. Round the boo is at 1300. Right. Always, Mac. Oh, fine, fine. Just got a new hat. <laughs> board the boat. Board the boat. Monsieur Irish. Sir, Admiral Nimitz sends his regrets. He cannot join us on this mission. He says keep your powder dry. Colchester. <laughs> Just immediately here. Commander McHale of the United States Navy. Now, don't interfere with invasion operations. Sir, British reinforcements are on the way. Churchill sends you this. Stonewall Jackson sends his best. Stonewall Jackson. Guard the boat! Start the engine! Shield orders not to be up until after we leave. Goodbye. <laughs> Stonewall Jackson? Hey, wait for me! It's all right, he's one of us. He's President Roosevelt's special messenger. I'll see you get the quite again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Tink, got your engines. Hey, Skip, why are we sneaking up like this anyway? I mean, after all, we're the good guys. Why don't we just fire a shot across our bow? <laughs> With what? Slingshots? No guns on this old tub. We're gonna have to go out and get those French hijackers with our bare hands. Oh, really? Well, you don't have to worry then, Skip. Good thing I kept up my judo. Ha! Ha! <laughs> all right, all right. Save us for later, will you, slugger? have our boat. Yeah, and us with no weapons. Hey, boys, let's go back to the boat right away. We run it, Skip? Yeah, but we're coming right back. We're gonna make a little Japanese salad with uh, some French dressing. Come on. Japanese salad with French dressing. I thought they used sukiyaki sauce. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mino, Mino. Should you go? Ah, oh, money me! Come on, 
Comment allez-vous <rire> Maître Eddy de Crêpes sous Zed Vive la Hirigito Who are you What is going on here I do not understand all this French talk. Uh, you see, we are French. We are neutral. We love everybody. <laughs> hey, you must have had the unhappy childhood. <laughs> I demand to know what you are doing here. Who are you? Well, we are happy French sailors. We love everybody. <laughs> But these pigs we hate. Yeah, collaborate with the Americans for free pity boat ride, huh? <laughs> Suck it, please. <laughs> Monsieur Mikhail to you, swine! Explain to Mikhail Hay. What? Oh, I, I, what he says, says that he is a filthy turncoat, yeah! May uh, we curse on the mother's goat. Ah, uh, hate the filthy turncoat, yes! You we like, them we hate! You like, them hate! Is that the right, mon compatriot? We oui. like, hey! Like, hey, like, hey. I insist you stop. Well, anything you say, monsieur, we stop. <laughs> hey, mon ami. <laughs> Then we like you, we hate. <laughs> That's great, Skip. What style of judo was that? American style. It's called a shot in the head. <laughs> shot in the head. I'll have to remember that. All right, boys. All right, let's get these prisoners on board and then let's go. We got to get moving. Oh, Michael, mon ami. I'm so happy to see you. My chin take quite a beating, but you save it French his life. Yeah, well, that makes us even for Zamboanga. <laughs> yeah, you're stealing our PT boat of all the low-down scurvy tricks. <laughs> you like me, I can tell. <laughs> How Frenchy could ever have stolen anything from a man like you, I do not know. Ooh, I like me, I hate you. Come on, come on, will you? Don't start that all over again. <laughs> yeah, well, and then listen, boy, this is it. Frenchy? Your boat is on the other side of the island. Let's not just say au revoir. Let's say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Boy, he sure likes you, Skip. I guarantee you, after what he's been through today, he's going to go straight. <laughs> Friend? That French frog just stole my wallet. Hey! <laughs> I thought he was going to go straight. <laughs> well, hi, Captain. Uh, sorry we're a little late, sir. A little late. Mikhail, when I'm through with you, you'll be so finished you won't even be able to sail a boat across a bathtub. <laughs> I've got a list of charges against you that's going to make Benedict Arnold look like the American of the year. Oh? Are you ready for this? Yes, sir. One, direct disobedience of orders. Huh? Two, absence without leave. Three, dereliction of duty. Four, stealing a French vessel. Five, assault and battery on French citizens. Well, now, those are five good charges, sir. Yes, yes sir. They But are. if I may say so, uh, I have a good answer for each of them, sir. What are you talking about? Bye, 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 bye. Well, now, well. Uh, <clears throat> Prisoners, front and center. <laughs> You are, sir. Five of them. Count them. Okay, I don't believe you. You're trying to pull something on me again. Now, who are these people you've got made up to look Japanese? <laughs> Thank you.